Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you how I painted the Chaos Warhounds for Warcry to a tabletop ready standard with contrast paints. Here's our Chaos Warhound, and I'll be using this set of 10 Warhounds for Warcry, and they'll be used as thralls in the game. So, can't wait to get them on the battlefield now they're all painted up. I wanted to get these done pretty quick, so I've gone for real speed painting with these and I've just used contrast paints so they're really quick and easy to paint. So here's the model, all primed, and I use Necrotic Flesh Army Painter Primer for this miniature and I already made the bases, I glued it to the base first and then made the base around it and I've done a separate video on that and that's up on the channel so you can check that out if you'd like to do this swampy wasteland look for your bases. Our Warhand, we're mostly going to use contrast paints in this video and it's going to be nice, quick and easy. And the brush I use mostly is the Army Painter Wargamer character brush, but I've also been using the Kalinsky number no. 2 brush recently. I'm really loving that and going to highly recommend it. Right, let's get started. And so our first paint is Contrast Wildwood and this is going to be for all the fur. And I'm putting this on really thick here. And you can see you've got lots of fur texture, so we want this paint to really seep in to all those creases and give us some nice shadow. And I'm not going to be doing any um, dry brushing or anything like that. It's simply going to be some single coats of contrast paints, and then we'll get these done really quick. And so this is something a bit different to what I normally do. Um, I'm normally a bit neater and tidier, but I wanted to get these 10... War hand, hounds done and on the table quite quickly and because I won't be playing with them too much I'm just want you know fairly neat finish but nothing extra special so this is where this kind of technique with the contrast paints is really good and just putting it on nice and thick with the brush being as neat as I can with these lines though still where I don't want to overlap onto the flesh color so I'm being really careful but getting quite a bit of paint on the brush and usually I'd say I start and end the brush stroke where I want most of the paint to build up. But with the fur like this, there really is a lot of surface area to cover. So it's just a case of getting it all on there and, and letting the contrast paint do the work. This video is almost going to be in real time. So you can see just how quick it is to get some miniatures on the table. And including the bases and drying time for all the different stages, getting 10 of these warhounds didn't take very long at all, five or six hours, and they're all tabletop ready. So I'm really happy with how they turned out. And um, nice and simple. And you know, once you've got a good undercoat, you just put the, the layers of the contrast paint on one at a time, keep within the lines, and you can get a decent looking miniature at the end of it. I wouldn't go this fast for the war bands that I've, that I've done previously or that I'm gonna do. But I think for something like a thrall that I'm only gonna play with, a few times perhaps yeah I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna go too in detail with this one there we go that's all the fur now done on both sides and also there's some little bits of fur on the legs so I've, I've touched that up too and there's on the front and we've got a little bit on the back legs too just at the bottom near the base and I'm being careful not to get any paint on the base but bear in mind that it's quite dark at the bottom there if we do get a little bit on there it's not really going to show up so you don't have to worry too much but still be careful but i'm just leaving those toes exposed because i want to paint those with the volopus pink later on but i'm um, just making sure that hair goes in there and also we've got lots of skin around there that's going to be black now we're on to the black templar contrast paint and this is going to be for all the skin and here i'm really putting a lot on my brush again and then if you see i'm pushing it and pulling it where i want that paint to go and I'm trying to guide that paint into the areas where it meets the fur, but also around the areas that I want to leave uh, green, because I'm going to put some pink paint on that later. But that, that large area there by the ribs, you can see I put quite a lot of paint on, and it just kind of wanted to go there on its own, really. So I didn't have to do much work there. Just put a nice blob of paint on, and that paint found its way into all the recesses there. And it's going to leave those ribs with a little bit of a highlight. And that's going to give us a little effect later on when we add the next color. And I'm just going around this area. These warhounds are like covered in boils and little growths and spikes. And I thought it'd be cool to have those pink. And this Templar black 
it's almost like a, a blue tinge to it. So I figured like that pink and blue and then with a little bit of green coming through from that uh, base that, we, that we've done, I thought that would look quite good. And uh, on the base, you see that shiny little pools and that's a technical paint called Nurgle's Rot. And it's the first time I tried it. I was really happy with how it came turned out. So I can definitely recommend getting that for that uh, that effect there. It looks really good. But here I'm just covering now, getting that black paint all over the flesh areas and just letting that contrast paint do the job. So you can see this is really easy. We're just doing a single coat of paint, quite thick, and just keeping it as neat and tidy as we can, leaving those areas exposed that are going to be pink and just making sure we keep within the lines and don't overlap into the brown paint that we've already done previously. So I wanted to see with this, this paint, if I could just do three, if I could just do three main colors, could I get some miniatures that looked good, tabletop ready standard, and uh, I think it's worked out okay, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. I could probably go back to these and do a little bit of dry brushing and touching up later if I want to, but for now, I'm happy. And now moving on to this Volopus pink, and while this black is still a little bit wet, I'm not waiting for these um, different stages to dry. I'm going to put that pink on all those boils and um, little abscesses and there's almost worms and maggots crawling out and spikes. So that's getting a really nice thick coat of Volopus pink and really letting that paint seep in to the recesses. And that's going to be nice and dark then in those shadows. And you're going to find that this paint leaves quite a, a light highlight and you see a lot of the green through it. So you, you'll notice as I'm going around the model, I'm just going back and just putting a little bit more paint on the areas I've previously done just to make sure that they really are pink and that they stand out and we don't see any, much of that green coming through. And this is a nice fun set if you wanted to pick it up. I'll put links to Element Games for all the paints as well and for these miniatures in the description below. And if you follow those links, you could save up to 20% with Element Games and there'll be affiliate links, but they won't cost you anything extra. In fact, you could save that money and for every sale made through those links, I get a small commission and that's going to help me develop the channel and create many more videos like this. So, so thanks so much for that support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Back to the model, here we go. So I'm just making sure that all these areas are covered now in that nice pink paint. This is a really cool colour, really bright and vibrant. And I think it works well for these warhounds. And I was going to do it bone colour and just put some uh, kind of green and green pus for these boils. But I thought I'd go in a different direction. And again, I just wanted to use three colours as a little challenge just to see what results I could get from it. So in this set, you get 10 miniatures all together and they come in five poses. So you get two of each and then you get lots of different horns and these kind of antler things. And then you get different tails so you can mix and match and have a nice variety there and make them all look quite different. And on pretty much all of them, I've done this same technique, just went with these three colours. But later on, I'm, I'm just used on this one. I've just done the teeth, um, another colour, just to show you like a different option if you want to. But on the other models, I just went with the Volopus pink all over the teeth and everything. So I didn't worry about using um, like a tooth color or a, a bone color for that. And now I'm just going to put some of this paint over those ribs. And again, that black is still a little bit wet. And I'm just putting a, a generous amount of pink over that. And that's just going to kind of show those ribs coming through a little bit. And perhaps that skin is thin there as they're doing that. And there's almost some pus underneath waiting to come through. So it's all pretty gross, which is also awesome. So, and it suits this kind of theme. This next stage is optional. And I took some contrast skeleton hoard and I just put it on the teeth. Again, I didn't do this on the other nine miniatures in the set, but I thought I'd just try it on this one and um, just putting it on the teeth. Again, this green is going to come through quite a lot, the necrotic flesh primer from this. Um, so you're going to see a little bit through but we're going to put some blood on this in a second. So this works well for that. And so we've got some technical paint now. And this is called Blood for the Blood God. And this gives us a nice glossy finish. I'm um, just using a little dot for the eyes. So I'm putting one eye on each side there. Again, if you want to go in more detail, you could paint these eyes in white first. And then put the red over the top. And same with the teeth. You could paint them with a white base paint. Then go over with the contrast. Then with the blood. But I'm just doing it again nice and quick. Just want to get these ready fast. And so I'm painting a little bits of 
blood for the blood god on those teeth and I'm also going to paint the tongue red just so it looks like it's had a mouthful of blood or guts as it's been running around on this swampy wasteland. And this is pretty much the end of the model so it didn't take us long at all and there you go you can see that blood for the blood god this has dried and that's really glossy and here's our finished miniature on the swampy wasteland base and for a quick fast paint and a tabletop standard i think this is great and it's gonna be great fun to play in our war cry game and now we can start including thralls and here's a close-up of the base where you can see that Nurgle's rot. And this is a great technical paint. Again, I'll put a link to that in the description below too. And don't forget, you can check out that video on how to make the bases. And doing bases like this can really make up for some of the corners we've cut doing this speed paint. And then from a distance, these are going to look really good. And here's one having a go at one of the Silver Neth. And you can see that how the size comparison and how they look when they're on the tabletop. Let me know what you think in the comments below. It'd be great to hear your thoughts and what you think of this kind of speed painting and how the contrast paints are good for that. Uh, I like trying different things so and also like to hear the feedback. So that'd be awesome if you want to join in in the comments section below. Now these are ready, I'll be creating some more of the rules videos that include the thralls. So look out for that very soon. And thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please like the video if you do. Subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.